So my name is Rebecca Fondez and I am a senior at CSUMB. My major is HCOM and I am 21 years of age. Um, I got this dog, her name is Izzy, um, about October of last year. So I've had her for about a year and maybe a couple months. Um, but yeah, she is an Italian Greyhound mixed with a pit bull um, and she's kind of a medium-sized small dog and I got her from SBCA. So she was originally from King City Soledad and about four months is when she, how old she was at SBCA and they told me that she, uh, the family abandoned her and she had anxiety issues and all that stuff so that we got her when she was four months and ever since then she's been part of this family and we've had some issues with her with her anxiety um, with some people and sometimes being left alone or in the dark we've overcome that little by little. The first night we tried to have her sleep in the laundry room and that didn't work so well because she was a person who wanted to be with someone all the time. The day that we brought her home she was always with someone and at night we had to go to sleep. We tried to put her in the laundry room and have her sleep on her own. She was crying like crazy and she was scratching the door and all these things so none of my roommates wanted to do anything they just wanted to put headphones in or uh, earphones and just go to sleep and I felt so bad because I get sad when dogs cry. So what I did is I grabbed a blanket and a pillow and I grabbed Izzy and I moved to the couch in the living room and right when I put a blanket she slept right between my legs and she knocked out within that minute um, little by little I tried to do that and then I continued sleeping on the couch and maybe leaving her in the living room but she was still crying so somehow she ended up on my bed every night so we are fans of Grey's Anatomy um, and we all really liked all the main characters so we we're like okay we want something that ends with a, a E at the end um, so we're thinking Sandy Izzy um, and we're thinking other names like that but we said all the names to her at PetSmart while we we're choosing a bed for her and when we said Izzy she looked she made like a movement so we we're like all right Izzy it is so I actually kept the surprise from my parents for a good like month and a half so I just bought the dog um, with my roommates and one day my parents were like oh we're gonna come up and visit you and I was like oh by the way I have when you guys get here I have a surprise to tell you and then they opened the door and then they saw Izzy and they're like what you got a dog and I was like yeah we have her for about a month now I was keeping it from you guys because I didn't know if you guys would make me like bring her back or like not let me keep her but it was like a roommate decision so we all wanted her and before I knew it my parents loved her too and they really liked that she was small and that she gave me company when my roommates would go home. I would definitely say that Izzy has become my emotional best friend. It's been times where I am alone in the apartment when I we did get her. My roommates would go home every weekend. Um, there was also times I was stressing out with school. I was having a hard time personally and she was always there for me. She would. Um, it's funny because when I cry she wipes my tears from my cheek or anything like that. So she's become my emotional support. She goes everywhere with me. If I take trips down to LA she's right there beside me in the car um, and then sometimes she'll get on my lap. But yeah she, she comes everywhere with me and she's kind of just like my little psychic wherever I go in the house she follows right behind me she makes sure I'm there if I'm gone for a while then she'll kind of get um, antsy a little bit I would say she's definitely my motivation to be a better mom I guess you would say um, it's kind of like having a little a little kid around always taking care of making sure she's fed she's uh, has water making sure she gets playtime in um, so it's really fun to have her around I would say that she is my motivation to continue going because sometimes I just look at her and I'm like okay we got this <laughs>